Hello, 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 and happy Wednesday, happy new moon in Sagittarius, and happy day before Thanksgiving for those of you all who celebrate Thanksgiving. This is a general reading, Leos. Hopefully you all set your intentions every day to have a great day or whatever adjective you use when you're setting those intentions. So you'll have that kind of day. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of growth and opportunity. So when you look at your life, you got to say, what areas can I grow in? What areas do I feel like I need some growth in so that I can make those opportunities I've been praying for happen for me? Hmm. Let's see what your cards have to say. Leos, let's see what your cards have to say. Let's see what your cards have to say. Yes, this is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is below. Looks like first up, somebody needs to get as far away from energies, you know, there's, there's treacherous thoughts about something, right? Treacherous thoughts about something. I see that a cycle is closed. I mean, aside from the fact that we know the, the old cycle is closed when you're looking at your life and saying, hey... I'm trying to create a life that I absolutely love and that I am pleased with. And I'm keeping up with that same momentum. Now I'm looking at areas of myself in my universe that I can grow in and I can create opportunity in. So, yeah, so we have the world car. So it looks like something is complete. Somebody feels free from something. Somebody has this fresh perspective, this fresh water, you know, that they're drinking from. We also have um, we also have the Hierophant card. Uh huh. Somebody is just like on their spiritual journey, like a deep spiritual journey of learning how to be patient with things, like taking your time to be patient. Instead, you're focusing on recharging from the sun. So some of you all could be going outside, and or, or you could be thinking of you know like Jesus, the sun, for some of you all, or you know, the son of God or something like that. But also for those of you all who are not religious, again, just more or less really um, stepping out into the sun and recharging from the sun. We already know what the sun, that star out there in the sky does for gemstones and crystals. It's also medicinal, right? And so maybe somebody's spending a little bit more time out in the sun, finding out, trying to Tell source in advance, you know, thanking source in advance. This is about raising your frequency. Praise, praising source. And we know that the word raise in, is in the word praise about raising your frequency so that you can connect the dots. Like what areas do I need to grow in, right? And so that word praise, of course, has the word raise in it. Like I said, as in raising your frequency, but that, that letter P and Pythagorean, um, and the Pythagorean system um, is for the number seven. It's aligned with the number seven and the number 16. 16 reduces to seven. But seven also looks like a lightning bolt, and it symbolizes enlightening insights, intuitive downloads that come out of the blue and light up your mind. It can bridge anything, making connections between ideas and subjects that seemingly have no common ground, such as good and evil, light and dark, seen and unseen, everything in between, right? So... It looks like somebody is like really working on, really working on getting rooted, grounded, more spiritual on their patience, on freeing themselves from something, you know, any treacherous thoughts about something, like thinking the worst of a situation. Somebody's learning how to free themselves from that. So again, somebody has some fresh inspiration, a new cup, a fresh cup of water, where you may have been drinking from some toxic water. Toxic water could have just been around toxic energy. You could have been around people who were just toxic, you know, speaking the worst about a situation that was just like planting seeds um, in your universe. And so I see somebody getting back to perfect alignment, like using their time perfectly. Remember, your, your time is your currency, right? So somebody is getting away from wasting their time with these negative thoughts about something and there you're focusing on using your time wisely perfect alignment with that so new inspiration you know coming across your path this is page energy coming out here twice right balanced out fire and water so you're not steaming hot you're just you're just like i said warm your energy is still warm towards something right so it looks like somebody has freed their freed themselves from 
like I said, any treacherous thoughts and even being around naysayers and negative people and haters and that kind of thing. It just kind of mellowed out a bit, you know, so again, cosmically, you're feeling free. You are feeling free, Leos. You are feeling free. Yeah, that number seven, like I said before, the image of the number seven, the image of the number seven is very powerful. That sun card is trying to come out again. The image of the number seven is very powerful because the top of the number seven symbolizes the world above or what some people think is heaven. Like this is our higher selves. The, um, and then it's with the diagonal line reaching below, um, signifying the bridging to the lower world, which is our flesh. I was feeling like we made poor decisions in the past and just low vibration energy. So it's connecting those two. And then from there, it's like I said, it looks like it, it looks like a lightning bolt and it symbolizes lightning insights, intuitive downloads. So you reviewed something from top to bottom. You looked at the pros and cons, the light in it, the dark in it, and you're connecting like within yourself. This is not about another person. The sun card came out again. So somebody is feeling quite youthful. You're feeling quite free. Like maybe somebody reassured you that everything is going to be okay in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Um, and you feel better about it. But it shouldn't get to a point where a person has to keep lighting your flame or else you're just going to come bust and go off. Like it has to be looking at here. Part of the things that I'm seeing here with, with what you're doing with your time is to not think the worst of a situation based on something that happened in the past. Instead, anticipating expansion, great things are happening, right? So that's how you, you're you growing in this area of not thinking the worst of a situation, but also opening, expecting expansion, expecting opportunity. When we look over here, I'm seeing, when we talk about Jupiter, since uh, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, think about good fortune, think about enthusiasm, think about opportunities coming your way. When you look out over the horizon, that's why I gave you the questions on Sunday, then during Sunday's reading, how do you see your life? Like this person is looking out over the horizon. They're anticipating some kind of growth, anticipating opportunity. This person is confident, right? They're adventurous. They're adventurous. They're like, okay, I, I feel like I'm I feel like I am going on this journey, my life journey. I'm excited about it, right? So I'm expecting good things to happen. Right. So as again, you're already thanking source in advance. When we talk about praise, you're thanking source in advance. You're not saying, I hope, I hope this is the right person for me. I hope this is the right job for me. I really hope that this, no, mm -mm. you're saying thank you in advance. I already see it. I've already ascended higher. I already see, I already see myself getting as far away from people who are treacherous in their in their comments and their thoughts about something and so i'm saying a ten of pentacles i see somebody with their person you all are creating legacy well together but you got to get away from all the failed relate the, the emotions of failed relationships and all of that and i'm also seeing this card right here justice so that doesn't necessarily mean this person has a court case it could also, this is moral justice. This is where I'm cutting away all the treacherous thoughts, all the low vibrational thoughts. I'm being, I'm being uh, my warm, cheery, friendly self. You know, I'm being a high vibrational Leo. I'm expecting great things to happen. You know, I'm not expecting for somebody to be perfect, but I'm expecting to, I'm expecting to learn all parts of myself and my birth chart, like really learn all those things. Somebody was having some sleepless nights about something, but again, here we have the Ace of Wands again. Here we have the Ace of Wands. This is, again, new inspiration coming across your path. Third eye is wide open. Like somebody is really struggling here. Like somebody is really struggling. And again, if it's not you, then of course, don't. if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. But somebody has been having some sleepless nights, you know, like struggling to get away from some kind of thoughts and like, it comes across as insecure. Um, and so one or two things, when, when I hear people say, oh, nobody can make you feel insecure, that's not true at all. Because if you give somebody that level of access, then you should also be able to communicate to, to them what nurtures your spirit, right? So this is what nurtures my spirit. This is my love language. And then also finding out what their love language is, whether it's a friendship, romantic relationship, job, whatever so that you don't have to torture yourself 
This is a person who's torturing themselves when all they have to do is open up their mouth and say something. If you find yourself repeating the same thing over and over and over again, it's time to move on from something. It really is time to say, I need to go ahead and cut my losses. I need to close out this cycle and I need to move on. Because I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm having to repeat the same thing over and over and over again. And this doesn't feel good, right? So anyway, uh, let's keep it moving forward so that you don't continue having sleepless nights. You're focusing on your legacy, you know, your, your legacy wealth here. All right. Um, we also have the Queen of Wands. So you can get back to, you can get back to feeling happy, free, feeling excited about life, inspiring people, feeling very maternal, you know, putting a flame up under people, but a very healthy one. This is igniting people's flame, helping them to find their own inspiration, finding their own light within is what I'm seeing for you. Let's, so let's see what else we have going on. We have the 10 of wands, the chariot card, the lover's card, the high priestess, the judgment card, and also the magician card. Yeah, so this is where someone really wants to be with their twin flame. Um, they want to be with their twin flame, but for somebody, they could have come out of a they could have come out of a marriage. Or you could have come through a divorce, and you're feeling like okay, I. But you got to ask yourself: Am I making my new person pay for what my old my ex did? You know that kind of thing for somebody like getting away from those treacherous thoughts. Or even if you weren't married before, maybe you came out of a family where the, your parents were divorced, or maybe somebody's parents projected all that negativity about the 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 institute of marriage onto you, and you got these treacherous thoughts. So maybe it's time to get around some people. I mean, if this is what your desire is, you want to start thanking source in advance. Again, praise, raising your frequency. And that number seven, you know, looking at things from top to bottom, like looking at yourself from top to bottom and getting around some people who are already married, successfully married. We're not talking about whatever, but successfully married, right? So that may mean that somebody is talking to some kind of a spiritual leader. Getting out of that mindset that, Hey, maybe they came from a, a, their parents were divorced. Maybe your parents were divorced or never married or whatever the case may be. And let's get around some people who have had successful unions, right? So that's what I'm saying for somebody. So that you don't feel overwhelmed emotionally, you know, from your past, you can move beyond your past and not think about all the times people burned you or all the relationships you felt that were failed, that, that had failed. So let's see what else we have here. In other words, source is saying raise your frequency, declutter, declutter from all of that low vibration energy, just declutter, right? Somebody is very sensitive right now. Somebody could be pregnant. Um, that could be causing a sensitivity, but it's also letting me, or you, you could have either gotten somebody pregnant or you may be pregnant, but it's also letting me know that messages are going to come through to your, through your dreams, Somebody is highly intuitive and your message is going to come through your dreams. So instead of, you know, asking God why, just start thanking God in advance. That's your praise. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. Thank you for me getting away from those treacherous thoughts and the doubt and fear. Thank you that if I get married, you know, that I'm that I've cho chosen a person that's perfect for me and that I'm perfect for them that kind of thing right that's what I'm saying for somebody and so the marriage could be business or it can be romantically a romantic marriage but it's some kind of an agreement some kind of contract but I do see somebody either getting married to somebody in business or romantically but I do see you all making an impact on your community and the world at large is what I'm seeing here so yes congratulations in advance congratulations in advance to somebody here we have the magician card coming out again. Clear messages are going to be coming through to somebody. Clear message. All you're going to have to do is talk to source. Tell source what you want. Yeah, that magician card came out twice. You're going to have to thank source in advance. This is not where you're asking, can you show me what's, give me, send me some signs, send me a message. Just thank source in advance for what you want. I want to be married. In business or romantically or whatever, I, I want to be married. Thank you in advance for sending me the person that's perfect for me. And then I'm, I'm perfect for them. Start listening what you want in a person, right? But you have to know yourself first, right? So anyway, let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. Yes. All right. 
Ah, yes, happy midweek Wednesday to all of my Leos. Let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. So yes, that number seven is connected to the letter P in the Pythagorean system. It's just like it is connected to the number 16, which reduces to seven. So you're looking at yourself from top to bottom. You're asking source to sort it all out. So there's lightning instinct. You want information to come through. But hold your vision. If your vision is to be married to somebody romantically or married in uh, in, in business, that agreement, that, that contract that you all have, hold your vision. But just, you know, be crystal clear. Be crystal clear in what you're thanking source for. You're telling source what you want, but you're also thanking source in advance. You're thanking source in advance. All right. Watch a movie. Hmm. That may be a way to pass some time by, but it's also, this is not by coincidence that somebody may find some answers in a movie also. Something you may be, and it's, it's not any movie in particular, it's whatever you choose. If Source is trying to get some get something through to you, it'll be in a movie. You'll watch a movie and say, oh my gosh, I never, I've watched this movie three, four times and never saw, it never, it never, I never looked at it this way. Right, or it could be a brand new movie, but I am expanding. 33 is I am expanding. Any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be worth your while. Expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened. 33 is your number. It is your number. It is your number. It is your number. All right, it is your number. It is your number. It is your number. Acceptance, affirmations for acceptance. Yeah, for acceptance. I knew somewhere it was uh, somebody feels insecure about something. And whoever planted that seed in the past, you don't want to make your current or future relationships suffer for wanting to feel accepted by something or somebody when source has already accepted you. This is already in your cards, Ten of Pentacles. Right, so don't leave this out on the universe table because you don't know in advance to thank source for perfect, you know, alignment with your wealth because time is your money, right? And so if you're spending your time on treacherous thoughts because somebody planted seeds, then it's time to uproot those, toss them out, and start focusing on operating in faith. And I see somebody also being booked and busy, but here we go. I accept myself as I am. I accept what is without resistance. I have the power to choose my actions. I have the power to create change. I practice patience with myself. I am loved. I am not alone. I am at peace. That is what it is. That's what I have for you, Leos. Thank you so much for joining me again. Congratulations to somebody. Um, but that's what I see for you. So go ahead and move forth towards your legacy wealth. Don't let any treacherous thoughts that somebody may have planted seeds from your past or past hurtful relationships block this. Get as far, get on your horse and get as far away from that as possible. That is what I have for you. I will see you all on Friday. Again, this reading is for the remainder of November through the end of December. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Bye.